All right, right now, I want to cut this log off a little. And first, I'm going to start by making a, a little cut. This is just a little tiny test cut so that I can pivot the blade and see how well they're lined up. See, when I, when I pivot the blade to horizontal, it should cut right up to the edge of where it cuts vertically, theoretically. So let me just uh, flip that. Hey, Kirkan, you want to bring me a clamp? Hey, bring me one of those clamps. Okay. The clamps? Yeah. Well, why don't we have it? I don't know. Just bring it. At some point, I'll have some more official way of holding this up. And is that how you cut in it now? Uh, yeah, I'm going to cut it this way next. Oh wait, I just realized. <laughs> I have to go this way cutting vertical and I have to go back cutting horizontal. All right, let me just. All right, that's better. Hopefully nothing flies out and hit the camera. Oh, we got a cloud. Maybe. Yeah, that's not gonna be enough speed. All right, how long is that cloud gonna be there? Oh, that was a big cloud. Not optimal day for doing this. <laughs> I was hoping I could get this little test done first. All right, let's wait a little bit. All right, now you gotta hold the camera nice and steady. Okay. All right, Captain, you want, you want this board right here from Mega Dollhouse? Yeah? So. Yeah, I'm asking you. I'm not a captain, but yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. All right, you have to stand over that way because I don't want you to be in line with the blade because anything that shoots out is going to go right down there. All right, baby's out of the way. All humans are out of the way. Okay. Except I needed to cut a little bit deeper. Go put it with the other ones, Roger. The They're on the bulldozer. All right, I think I think next we'll cut that part off. Oh yeah, I gotta come this way. All right, you can stop for a second. Oh, unless you want to get the the switching of the thingy. Okay. Are you still going? It's still going. Oh, have you been going this whole time? Yes. Okay. You didn't say to stop before. Yeah, that's fine. Yesterday, when I was testing the vertical and horizontal cut, when I put this up all the way, it was a little bit too far this way, so I made a little shim, and it appears that's the right, that puts it right at the right size. So I guess I'll rivet that on later. I'm not doing it right now because I don't feel like it. Yeah, with that little spacer. It'll cut a vertical and horizontal and actually have them meet and take off the piece. Um, okay, right now I want to raise it up a bit. I have to raise it up enough to get to get that bolt clear. Right? Yeah. <laughs> It'll be really good to know how many spokes it takes to get that bolt clear. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight. Seven, eight. All right, remember this, humans. I think seven will actually do it, but if I go up eight spokes, the bolt under the, the blade is totally clear. Let me just make sure it's still tight. Good. Um, uh oh, I have to move the whole thing over, but my clamp is going to hit. So I better switch clamps. Don't worry, I'll get this process all smoothed out soon. I'll make some kind of, not automated, but like, 
easier to do position holder clamperizer something or others. Yeah, this is good enough for tests. Oh yeah, I gotta move it over. Okay, where am I going? To? What I'm doing there is just making sure the blade is not like tilting up or down as it goes through. Isn't that pretty good? Uh, it looks like it's tilting down a little bit actually. I'll have to get it lined up really well and then make some kind of holderizer that kind of locks it into position. Although it's not off by much when it is. I haven't had a situation where I couldn't fit through. Okay, you guys got to be careful now. Well, the blade's shooting that way. Okay, you should be fine. Okay. So it's not off. Well, I'm really happy with this saw, uh, when the sun's out, obviously, and I still haven't cleaned off the solar panels. I'm gonna get more power. Probably gonna get like 15% more power or 20% more when I clean all that dirt off. Um, yeah, this thing is working really, really well. No, 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 don't lean on that, don't lean on that, don't move it. <laughs> if, this, if the log moves at all, I won't be able to get it lined up the same way. And then I'll have to, yeah, I won't be able to keep the cuts lined up. Man, that came out really nice. So this is the coconut tree wood. And I was not expecting it to be, like, it's kind of nice wood. It's really dense. Uh, I dropped a piece in the water and it sunk like a rock. Um, and when I was cutting these, oh, one thing is when I was cutting, I was using three clamps to hold the saw kind of in position. Turns out one of the clamps, I totally don't need it. Uh, I ended up not using it. It's the one that was like kind of clamping the, the whole saw part, keeping it from tilting like forward and back. But it doesn't seem to, like it seems to stay really well. So I just have the clamp keeping the whole thing from sliding and then the one clamp, you know, holding it up when I'm cutting horizontal. And then when it's down, it doesn't, it only needs the one clamp to keep it from moving sideways. And probably at some point I'll have some built-in thing where, you know, I move it to the right spot and then, you know, kind of pull a handle or something, lock it in place. I also need to make like little, uh, little marks along, uh, you know, along the horizontal part of the saw so I can, so I know how, like where I'm moving it, how wide boards I'm cutting and everything. The up and down is already very well measured because there's a wheel on the side that you know, raises and lowers the whole thing. And that wheel has spokes on it. And I 
clip something to the spokes. So, for instance, if I if I do it if I do a cut and then move down two spokes, I get this thickness. And then if I move down four spokes, that was this. I'm pretty sure that one was a four spoke. And uh, yeah, I think I just did two two and four spokes. These are four spokes. So I guess at some point I'll figure out exactly what a two by four is, like how many spokes per inch there are. Although I don't, I don't really feel like I need to stick to, I don't know, maybe I should stick to those measurements. Although if I'm gonna make two by fours, I'm gonna make true two by fours. So they're not gonna match the store ones anyway. So I guess it, I can use whatever measurements I want. Uh, imperial noodle units, otherwise known as inches or centimeters, whatever. Anyway though, these are, these are some of the boards that I cut. And they came out really, really nice. Like the surface is, oh, like it doesn't have to be sanded at all. It's really, really nice surface. And uh, like, look how pretty the, the coconut tree wood is. It's really nice. These, I believe, are gonna be for a dollhouse that my daughter was, is gonna make. She was kind of directing me on what sizes pieces I should make what sized pieces I should make. Anyway, uh, yeah, so for the first test of the lumber mill, actually cutting something, oh, so happy with it. And uh, I, can cut, I can cut two inches deep, no problem. Like just, you know, obviously when the sun is out because it runs directly off solar power. So, you know, I could, I could cut the width of this pretty quickly without, without difficulty. Uh, something like this is about five inches wide. It's actually just under. It's almost five inches wide. This I could do in two passes or, or three, but I can do it in two pretty, pretty easily. Um, I can do it in one pass, but I have to go real slow. Like the blade kind of seems to get bogged down. But two passes uh, goes really well. And this is almost the, the widest board I can make, which I think is totally fine. I mean, this kind of saw, it, you can't cut the huge wide slabs. So I can cut like a little bit over a five inch board. So I don't know, probably out to like there, Hi. that much. So, you know, I can cut a two by five and a quarter Hi. or a five and a quarter by a five and a quarter, whatever. Um, anyway, I'm super happy with it. I'm really happy with this. <laughs> so is this your new mustache? No, it smells really good. Oh, you're smelling it. I thought you were holding, you were just holding it like this. I thought you were making it a mustache. It does. It does smell really good. Actually, when I was cutting this, it smelled like, oh, sorry, I'll give you a piece of wood back. It smelled like, like candy, like cooking candy. You know, like if you're making candy apples or something or caramel corn. Not that I do that anymore because I don't really eat sugar anymore. But I still remember the smell. And when I was cutting it, it totally smelled like, like cooking sugar. Um, I guess the, the coconut tree has a lot of sugar in it, um, which would explain why the coconuts are so delicious and the coconut water is so delicious so delicious right all right well i think i think i'm going to shut up now i'm hoping that my daughter got some good video of when i was cutting i'm going to have to go check that and hopefully i can go make a video right now ah uh, there is another thing i still have to do to the saw i mean besides clean off the solar Ooh, it's raining right now the solar panels are getting kind of cleaned off Jeez, maybe i should go up there with a rag and some soap Nah, whatever anyway i still have to put like concrete circles under the, the two track bars, uh, pipes, to, you know, to make sure they're real level. Because right now, uh, as I'm rolling the thing, they, like, they're not supported the whole way. So the saw kind of dips down a little bit and goes back up and it gets to one end. And it's, it's you know, the ground's a little lower there. So the, the pipes tip back and the, you know, I just have to, it's not much. I could still, I could still cut pretty good cuts. But once I get that lined up, you know, really, really good. It'll cut even straighter than it already does, which is already pretty straight.